right good morning guys and welcome to another lesson presented to you today today we're doing something a little different reading 101 lesson one bias prejudice and stereotypes so welcome to this lesson as always i'll be your teacher Miss van der Schreef and I have four years formal teaching experience with an honours in English language and literature and a postgraduate certificate in language education. If you are excited for this video please give it a thumbs up as it helps more students to see it and feel free to share it and remember to subscribe to never miss out. So what exactly are bias and prejudice? and stereotyping. Let's go through them one by one. If you know the definitions of these, see how your definitions compare with mine. We should have more or less the same. So bias is when you are leaning towards one side. In the se Not literally, obviously, in the sense that you prefer one thing over another. And it's usually quite an unfair feeling to have. Prejudice is when you make a judgment based on knowledge that you do not have. I always think of it as pre-judging. Stereotyping is when you classify people based on one characteristic that they all share. If you're confused, don't worry, we're going to go through all of these together one by one in a little bit more detail. So bias, remember that we said bias is when you are leaning towards one side. So now here we have our guy leaning towards this wall. Okay, so he's leaning more towards like the, the window or the concrete wall than he is towards this little rusty colored one. Um, there's just a little piece of humor for you. And that's how I like to remember it, people leaning towards one side or the other. But it's not literal, you must remember this. Bias is when we are preferring one side over another. For example, I am biased towards video games. I don't like reading that much. Now let's look at prejudice. So remember we said Prejudice is when you judge someone or something based on knowledge that you do not have. So here this man is saying you are a woman so you must be a bad driver. He is judging this poor woman before he's even met her. Now I made this man look angry because prejudice makes me very very angry. So I wanted him to reflect how I feel about that. And this is what you look when you are prejudiced, what you look like when you are prejudiced. So remember that. And always remember that we need to have the facts. So we cannot be prejudiced. You cannot make a judgment before you don't know everything. And then we have stereotypes. So here I've got two pictures. Can you maybe think what kind of stereotype they fall under? So remember we said stereotypes are when we classify strangers based on characteristics that they share with other people, or even classifying people that we know based on characteristics they share. Can you think of the stereotype that could be prevalent in these pictures? Think of it to yourself. I'll give you a second. If you need to pause this video, please do. Right. So, could you figure out the stereotypes? Maybe you figured out different ones than I did. So, all blondes are stupid. Just because this woman's hair color is a certain way, you are assuming that she isn't smart. All masculine women must be lesbian. Do you see how offensive these stereotypes can get? And just because this lady enjoys her time in the gym doesn't necessarily mean anything about her sexuality. Now you have to ask yourself, why do all of these things matter? Why do we learn about them in school? We need to be aware of our own biases 
prejudices and stereotypes because we all have them pre-existing in our mind there is no one that is exempt from this and another important thing especially with language learning is authors are also sometimes biased or prejudiced and this can come forth in their texts and they also help us understand what other people may be thinking so very important what are other people thinking why are they thinking this and this helps us react to the world around us which is part of language learning so why do you now need to know about this why is it important to you <sighs> stereotyping prejudice and bias all fall under discrimination and the important thing is everyone will be discriminatory at some point in their lives but it's important to be aware of it and it's important for you to know about it so that you can prevent yourself from discriminating against someone else you need to know about stereotypes prejudices and bias for you to be able to prevent doing these things to other people and identifying them in the world around you like we said in authors and their texts which you will see in a later video when we analyze cartoons okay political cartoons so remember stereotyping prejudice and bias all fall under discrimination and discrimination is not a preferable thing to do this is why we learn about it so we can work against it we are have the knowledge so that we aren't prejudiced or biased or stereotype people so do you have any questions please leave them on the blackboard down below i would love to answer them as quickly as i can and i hope this short little lesson has been informative have a wonderful day and remember to like this video and share it so that more people can see it and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out.